my button just popped open. <laughs> really need to stop eating that over it. We'll leave it open. Hey, welcome back. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another video. I have had the best morning. If you remember in my last vlog, I was going through the process of changing my life. Well, I failed to stop eating Uber Eats, but what I have done is completely systemize my business. It feels so good. I woke up extremely early this morning and I sat down and I literally got 17 seconds into a video about systemizing your business and the ideas just started flowing. I wanna show you what I did. You're always trying to steal the show. High five. Basically what I've done is literally go through all the areas that I need to focus on to grow my company. And I'm not just talking about a business or my coaching practice, actually looking at this like a company. One thing that I have realized is that you really don't have a scalable business until you have something that really could work without you. And now that's what I'm really trying to do. Now you might not be at this stage of your business yet. You might just be starting out, but what you've got to realize is that I am three years in now and what I really want to focus on is growth and scaling as well as systems and building my team. These are things that I identified in the last vlog when I was thinking about changing my life. A big part of me stepping into the killer queen, the next level version of me, is becoming more of a CEO rather than just a business owner or someone who is working in their business. And so what I've actually got, gone and done this morning is I, I can't show you fully all of this in detail because I am gonna teach this in my Game Changer Collective membership. So I'm not gonna go through and teach you all of it in detail, but just to give you a little bit of an overview is I've broken down all of the areas of my business and systemized all of them. Literally to the point where I have written up a proper mission and vision statement for my company. I have created a full blown branding guide so that, you know, if someone were to come in and they wanted to look at how my, oh, sorry, you can't even see it here. Uh, but if they were to come in and they were to look at how my business runs and what the aesthetics of that was, I could 100% just show them this branding guide, but of course my internet's slow and it doesn't wanna load. So I have created a full blown branding guide, a branding style guide for my business. I mean, that's not even the exciting stuff. Really exciting stuff is that I have streamlined all the products and services in my business. So I've created a plan for 2020 for how I'm gonna grow and scale my business. And it means a lot less products and a lot more focus on particular areas. Another thing that I have done is I have broken down and created an organizational structure chart for my team. Now, of course, not all of these roles are filled yet, only the ones where you can see someone's name has been actually filled at this point. But in order for me to actually grow this business, I need to step into the visionary role and I need there to be other people in this company who are going to be running particular areas of it for me. So that is something that I have also done this morning. Now, even if you are at the very start of your business, this is something that I would recommend that you do. Like why not just create a future org chart? Because yes, you might not be in a position to actually hire anyone at this stage, but at least you know those positions that you need. And again, this is something I'm gonna teach really in depth in my Game Changer Collective community. If you don't know what that is, it's my monthly membership. So you can go check that out. I'll leave all the links below. I've created an Ascension model for my business. I've created a space where I can do all of my numbers, like my customer lifetime value, my conversions, my uh, customer acquisition. Like these are all things that I'm really, really getting into as well as then really creating workflows, which I mean, we already had workflows. I, I think I've shown them on the channel here before. For example, like the podcast workflow, the YouTube workflow. These are all stuff that we already had running in the business, but particularly when it comes to just mapping out all of the growth plans for each of these strategies, I've gone ahead and broken those down into a proper marketing plan. So I'm feeling so good about this. This really has mapped out a lot for me. I really love the quote, you know, plan to fail, fail to plan. That's not it, is it? That's just not even, that just doesn't even make sense. Fail to plan, plan to fail. And from last week's video where I spoke about stepping into that next little version of me and changing my life, I have gone ahead and I have taken action. Now that I've got all of these plans, the next thing to do is of course, just to bring that to life. So of course that's gonna be a big focus for this series which by the way, I haven't actually uploaded the last video at the time I'm recording this, so I still don't have a name at this current point in time, but hopefully the time I upload this video, it'll have a name in the title. Here's hoping. 
But anyway, today's Saturday. What else am I doing today? Nothing really. I'm just gonna keep focusing on this, I'm waiting for George to get home because he doesn't know it yet, but he's gonna help me film a video. And then we are, we just have a bunch of other errands and stuff to do, clean the house. And then tomorrow, Brooke's coming over to record a podcast. And yeah, basically I'll just bring you along. Bring you along the weekend. This is a weekend in the life of an entrepreneur vlog. So we have George who is setting up the camera. Brooke, we are about to have a little team meeting and also record a podcast. Harvey, of course, is being Harvey very, is very annoying. <laughs> but yeah, so Brooke, if you haven't met her before, I think, Hi have you been here before? Yeah, you've been I here think before. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brooke oh, is obviously the amazing person between, behind a lot of the growth stuff we do. So like the social media, a lot of the content here at the Game Change Company. George, obviously our... Camera guy, the, 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 the runner, the tea maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then me. Who knows what I really do, to be honest. <laughs> but we are about to record a podcast because Brooke, alongside doing a lot of the stuff in my business, she also has a business of her own, which is all about self-love and confidence. So I'm going to leave all of her information for that down below. But we're going to record an episode on the Game Changers podcast, which is all about self-love and confidence, because that is obviously such a big part of personal branding. You've got to put yourself out there, be confident while you do it. George, what's your number one confidence tip? Wear leopard. Wear leopard. <laughs> yeah, George definitely uh, rocking the air behind the branding. Harvey, I mean, you just, do you, you have don't to? Want to be involved. You can be involved. Oh my god. Good was our Yay, podcast. So good. So excited for you guys to listen. <laughs> it was really good. That podcast will already be out. I feel like you're really ruining all of these clips today. Yeah, come on, Harvey. Come on, mate. <laughs> but that podcast will already be out, so I will leave that linked below as well as I said all of Brooke's information. I've got to go to a Father's Day barbecue now. was this need to create a theme around this journey of change. I showed you my business plan at the beginning of this vlog and there's some big stuff in there. Like that is a big change for my business. It's basically taking my company in a totally new direction. I mean, the change is kind of scary. Obviously there's the financial risk of making a change. Um, it's gonna involve a lot more of me putting myself out there, both vulnerably with my personal brand, as well as stepping up into that real leader version of me, because in order to bring those plans to life, I am gonna have to create a team and so, the thing that really came up in my journaling was the fact that I really wanted to create a theme. And the theme is really heavily focused around boldness and courage. And it's weird because I have this synchronicity. I went to this event recently and they asked us to create a theme for the next year of our life. And it was weird because boldness was the thing that came to my mind and I wrote it down on a piece of paper. And so that's the thing that I'm really encouraging you to do as well if you are trying to create change in your life and you've made these plans is just create a theme, create an anchoring word even that you can always come back to that reminds you of the intention and the purpose of this journey. So for me it's boldness and courage and I'm actually going to go as far as to, <laughs> I mean I love to do this obviously, but I'm actually going to go as far as, I've been thinking about getting a sleeve for a while, not a full sleeve but just like a bigger tattoo here and then one here 
or a sort of here so it kind of looks like a sleeve but it's disjointed and not actually connected together and then basically the inside of my arm would be bare and the thing that I'm thinking of getting is actually a lion so I'm thinking of getting a lion with the half crescent on its forehead and then possibly even something to do with like the twins the Gemini twins on my arm here I'm not quite sure yet um, but that's something that I'm gonna do. Obviously you don't need to go get a tattoo to remind yourself of the change you wanna make. But I mean, you know, I went to this event once where they gave little wristbands even. You know, you could get like a, a wristband or something. Just remind yourself of what the theme is, remind yourself of what the intention is and that will really help you along the journey of change. Today I am going to be having a little bit of a filming day. Kind of annoying because George isn't home so I do have to do it all myself. I know, right? But basically I've just set up my camera. I'm gonna sit there. The videos that I'm filming today are going to be a new welcome video for my membership. And then I'm gonna film a video for YouTube which actually is gonna be all about discipline. So I know a lot of people struggle with discipline. They say that they just can't get things done. I saw a lot of comments on my last video where I was talking about change and a lot of people were saying I've tried to change but no matter what I'm doing I just can't bring myself to do the things I need to do so we're going to talk a little bit about discipline in this video <laughs> So what I've got to do is just like record a little bit and then test it because I need to see if it looks and sounds okay. Okay, well, I can't hear anything, so something didn't work. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I officially found the problem about why I couldn't hear myself on the playback. I had the microphone plugged in the headphones jack. Yep, I did that. Harvey, why didn't you tell me? Hello my love and welcome officially to the Game Changer Collective community. You have no idea how excited I am to have you here. This is one of my absolute favorite places to hang out on the internet, and it's one of my favorite places to get to know you on a much deeper level. I think one of the most important things when you are creating some type of business plan is that you don't just create it, like spend all the time creating it, and then forget about it. This is the same with our next level version of us. In the last video, I spoke about creating that next level version of you. And in this video, I've obviously spoken a lot about creating business plans. What a lot of people do is they create so many plans. They're like in up to their ears in plans, but they don't actually reconnect with that plan each and every single day to take action from that plan. You know, if you're the type of person who spends a lot of time in their calendar, in their asana, in their journal, rather than actually taking what you're putting into those spaces and bringing it into your reality. That's probably why you're not moving forward. So one thing that I've been doing each and every single day is jumping into Asana, taking a look at my business plan, taking a look at my YouTube plan, taking a look at that next level version of me plan and thinking about how can I create today from this plan. So obviously today I've been really focused on content creation. Now I'm gonna edit these videos and then I've got some calls later today, but what I'm also really gonna do is reconnect back with that business model that I planned out, the actual flow of how my business is going to look in 2020. And I'm actually going to start working on some of that stuff. There's little areas that I can do. I'm going to break down all the things that I need to do to bring that to life. I think it's really just about dedicating some time each and every single day. You know, again, it's not about overhauling your entire experience. It's about making a plan and then just chipping away at it. You know, our brain gets overwhelmed. There was a great comment by one of uh, my subscribers, Tara. 
And she said, you know, when we try to change too much, our brain truly gets overwhelmed. And so what I truly do believe you need to do is just create those plans and then just chip away at them each and every single day. Trust me, consistency beats everything. Consistency is key when it comes to any type of change. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to leave it there because I don't think the rest of today is going to be very exciting, but I do have some stuff coming up later in the week that I so want to vlog for you, but I'll put that in next week's vlog. Um, so yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video. Really hope you enjoyed seeing my business plan. If you want to see it more, then you can always come join the Game Changer Collective. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me, watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry the camera's like jumping around. Harvey is on my lap. He's feeling really sick. Poor guy. Anyway, I'll see you soon.